Viraj Sinha, page 208. Elb. Quick, look, in, look at her cute and size her quirk. For the bicker she lives, the slicker she grows. Save us and take us. No more. Where or where in Ortha did you ever pick a lambe chop as big as a battering ram? Aye, you're right. I'm up to forgetting. Like Livium little did, love him long. The length of my hoof, I say. She wore a ploughboy's nail-studded clogs, a pair of plowfields in themselves, a sugarloaf hat with a gaudy quivery peak, and a band of gorse for an ornament, and a hundred streamers dancing off it, and a gildered pin to pierce it. Owl glassy bicycles boggled her eyes, and a fishnet's veil for the sun not to spoil the wrinklings of her hide aspects. Potato rings buckled the loose lobes of her loud snares, her nude Cuba stockings were salmon smut spot speckled. She sported a gilligo shimmy of has viper tinto that never was fast till it ran in the washing. Stout stays, the rival lined her length. Her blood orange bock knickers, a two in one garment, showed natural nigger boggers, fancy fasted, free to undo. Her black, black striped tan Joseph was sequin sewn and teddy bear lined with wavy rush green epaulets and a lay down here and there of royal swan's ruff. A brace of gaspers struck in her hay rope garters. Her chivy corduroy coat with alphabet buttons were bordered around with a tuber tunnel belt. A four penny bit in each pocket side weighed her safe from the blow away wind rush. She has a clothes peg had a clothes peg tight astride on her jockey's nose, and she kept on grinding as something quaint in her fumy mouth, and the wreck of the flume of the tail of the gowan of her snuff drab sealer scute trailed fifty odd Irish miles behind her lungerhodes. Hell's bells, I'm sorry I missed her. Sweet gumpty um and nobody fainted, but in the wealth of her mouths, was her nays all right? Everyone that saw her said the douse little Dahlia looked a bit queer. Lotsy Trotsy mind the puddle. Mrs. Be good and don't fall in the say. Fenny poor hex, she must have charred. Kickums a frumpier ever you saw. Making mush mullet's eyes at her boys double done. And they crowned her their charitan queen of the maids. Of the May, you don't say. Well, for her, she couldn't see herself. I reckon it's wherefore the darling murrayed her mirror. She did, mercy me. There was a chorus of druth dropping surface men, boom slanging and plug chewing, fruit eyeing and flower feeding.